Hello folks, we are here at Dollar Tree. Um, for my last video, I was talking about crafting supplies. And I just wanna show you that you don't just need to look in the crafting section for your supplies. The whole Dollar Tree store is a crafter's paradise. Let me show you. All right, a first good stop for crafting supplies is actually over here in the paper products and the party supplies because you can use these table covers. They have plastic ones and they have paper ones for a drop cloth. You can cover up your furniture and your floor and save your sanity and save your furniture and your floors. They also have this filler play paper. This is four pieces. Look at this, how beautiful. This is a clear, this is a, a iridescent green this is a glittery red here and here's tissue paper they also have this gift filler as well as the ribbons that, and here's some just on the rolls it comes in all these bright silvery colors some matte colors wide and um and narrow they also have gift bags you can dismantle any of this and use it in your diy projects same thing with the gift cards they have some really great fonts on the gift cards so you can just take something like this and dismantle it look at all of that prettiness right there the glitter you can take that apart and use that in your scrapbooking or whatever you want they're two for a dollar so that's a pretty good deal for over here they have the lettering look at this this is a uh, it's a it's my birthday. It's a banner, but you could take this apart and use any of these pieces Look at this. You could use any of these pieces Here's a here's a felt Unicorn and that's for a banner, but you could use that in, in scrapbooking or um, We really think you could come up with some great things. Uh, oh look at that one That's a beautiful plastic cable cover, but look at the colors You can just really reuse that in a lot of different ways you just have to think about it. They have these lovely styrofoam balls that might be repurposed. They have these, um, now this is a baby shower favor, but look how adorable that is. I don't know, what, oh, and look at this one. Look at that one. And that's little rattles. And this one says baby and it's little beads. We have several of those. So you can do a lot with this stuff. Look at this, this is a bird feeder. This is not in the DIY section but it's in the toy section across from the party bags the gift bags which you could also dismantle and use look at this these are feathers okay this is a crafted up and it's not in the craft section here's another one this is the uh, um, cactus macrame and I think there's a rainbow one down there and there is so, and then this is a charm bracelets, sun catchers. I think these are, what is this? Party shot glass rings. Wow. Okay, I've never seen that. I should be looking at this more because <laughs> that is funny. That is funny and interesting. And look at this. This looks like a little tuxedo. This is a favor box, but you could take it apart or use it, you know, put it together and use it. And look at this, even just the paper plate. You can use that whole plate, potentially. I mean, I don't know. Here's some rose petals. Rose petals, that's what that says. Rose petals, 300 pieces of rose petals. Pink, those are white. Um, these are metal cake toppers. You could take those apart or use them as a stencil maybe to create something new. I don't know, I'm not, like I said, the most craftiest person, but I'm trying to think outside of the box and help you guys, because yeah, because I can see where this might be something really, re we might be onto something here, right? Everything and anything could be repurposed. So we could try that and look at all the paper and the boxes. Oh, these lovely boxes. I own several of these and they're great for gift giving, but how about repurposing some of these? Either using them to trace with or using to take them apart and use the pieces of them like these beautiful flowers. This is kind of what some of them are. That one's not raised, but this one is. That's a raised flower. You could pull it off and put it on something else. Or oh, and before I get too far, let's not forget about these foam plates. I don't know about y'all, but when I was a kid in Sunday school, we used paper, foam plates and paper plates to make all kinds of stuff. We used them to keep us from making a mess too, but we um, poked holes in them, made faces on them, mixed paint in them, all kinds of stuff. Also, let's not forget about the stickers on the end caps. I mean, there's stickers in the crafting section, but there's a ton of stickers elsewhere in the store, and they have so many different kinds. These are just jewel stickers, 
the pen. Look at this. This is so adorable because it is um, party stickers. They literally are balloons and presents and cupcakes and things. And then you have travel and flowers and just these are butterflies. There's leaves down here. There's just a happy face. You know, you just have to look. Let's go down here and look in the office supplies because there's going to be uh, a ton down there as well. Oh, look. More vases. All right. So, of course, down here you're going to have everything from index cards to um, packing tape that you could use. Glue of all kinds. So, here's some uh, foam adhesive and poster glue. Um, but you're going to have tape. You're going to have um, poster boards down here of all colors. You're going to have poster tack that you might could use for something. Here's the glitter paper. Three in a pack, different colors. They have the poster letters, different sizes. They have some um, Neo Starlers. That's 30 pieces. You could use them for templates or you could just use them as is. Um, here they have more letterings of different kinds. And of course, they're going to have the crayons that you can use, um, markers and pens and pencils for any kind of uh, DIY or for most of them. Hang on. And this might cringe some people, but you can also go ahead and dismantle a book and use the pieces from the book because there's some really cool lettering in a lot of books, right? And some of the pictures you might want to use. Now, this is just a word search, but you can find some and I don't mean just coloring books I mean real books yes you can go in here and take some of these books apart and use pieces of them in your um, projects and of course you're always going to want to use like thumbtacks and paper clips and rulers and markers you know all of this stuff is here and is available to use in your projects and sometimes you'll be surprised at some of the things that might help you out they have scissors different sizes so remember your project is as creative as you want to get right you could um, use uh, any of this material really take the coloring books apart you know all right let's talk about another section of the store hang on so the section I'm going to talk about now is the plus section because they usually have a lot of crafting supplies in the, in this section so they have the $5 watercolor pencil sets they have five dollar dry erase markers they have you know a coaster silicone mold they have the mini diamond filler glitter glow-in-the-dark glitter foil flakes um, six piece of vibrant pearl three dollars they have sharpies putty chameleon powder metallic muted pearl powder foil flake more foil flakes Look at all of this and then down here we have jewelry silicone molds so you can make jewelry they have pre-mixed pouring paints in different colors they have the cu uh, cuff bra bracelet silicone mold and then they have these jars of sprinkled glitter for three dollars right so they're different colors they have um, the metal flakes in different different colors there. I'll start to say different denominations. That is in the wrong place. They have um, containers to hold your supplies in and your tools that you're using. Over here they also have the wood trays. So you could either use that as a project or make this a tool to put your things in to carry from place to place. They have the wood risers and wood signs. That's three dollars. Um, and they have them in different shapes. This one is five because it's a, a bigger, prettier shape. I can pull it out. You can see there's, there's one like this. Isn't that beautiful? And it's already got the hanger on the back. That's $3. And then they have this one with the pretty edges on it that are not just straight edges. That's really pretty. That's $5. And of course, they have the wood table easel. So you could set up to put your, um, um, your canvas on it while you're painting. And then here's some wood crates that you can DIY or you can um, use them to hold your stuff. And those are five bucks. And then here are the bigger canvases that are white. And they have some even bigger ones down here. They also have the 50, is that 50? No, that's a five piece fat quarters, um, little fabric pieces of different colors. And again, I want to say denominations, but they're colors 
for your um, crafting needs. So these are down here in the three and five dollar plus section. And this is a roll of 15 piece of fabric roll and that green checkered, that's pretty. And then here we have some, well, it's not labeled, but it's another type of fabric with a twine around it. That is beautiful. Um, and they have other just do it yourself ones. Here's some diamond painting kits. Here's a horse. Oh, I gotta buy that for my sister. She loves horses, so I think she'd really like that. And um, yeah, so they, all right, let's talk about some other areas of the store that are also great for the crafting. Storage, they have tons of storage bins from $3 to $5 to $1.25. They also have candles, candle holders of all kinds, not to mention the vases, which we haven't hit that aisle yet, but they have tons of those. So you can paint these, do all kinds of neat things with them. All right. You know, one of the things I, I think that is really neat at the Dollar Tree is you can buy frames of all sizes and shapes. They even have some just clear acrylic ones, if I can see any. Am I, oh yeah, here's some right here. This is a five by seven photo frame. So you can put signs in them or it stands up already on its own but you could like take apart a book or a greeting card and put it on cardstock make it look pretty add your own words to it and put it in a photo frame that'd be beautiful they also have all this beautiful tile right look at that isn't that crazy oh here's the big photo frame up here that's the one i was looking for this is eight by eight but anyway here's this beautiful tile look at this one isn't that amazing that's a beautiful butterfly I don't know what we could do with that, but man, we could probably make something really nice. I saw a TikTok, I think, where they put like the tile over one of those acrylic photo frames and used it for um, a DIY. So there you go. And here's wallpaper, and it says not just for walls, for DIY projects and more. I believe it. Hang on. And this is the actual crafting section here at this Dollar Tree, and it's a lot of the same things we've already seen. We have the lettering and the wall um, uh, pictures and peel and sticks and here's a ton look right here they have all the B crafters um, squares fabrics colors they have dowels I think I heard somebody looking for these the other day these are wood dowels not every store has them but they have them here there's more popsicle sticks and then what is this guy that is a retractable support retractable okay that's interesting. They have chalkboard tags. This is much of the same stuff that we have seen. Here's all the color pom-poms. Crafting knife set. More color pom-poms. More double-sided tape. I like looking at the, this is an embossing tool. Dollar 25 right there. Um, containers. We have more tool. More of the crafter squares. Um, cross stitch kits. And then we have some iridescent patches here, as well as these little bags that you could either DIY or use to hold your stuff. Um, more of the little wood blanks. This one is a wall shelf. Um, we have some special paper here. This is a decorative cardstock. This is pink. Didn't see this at the other store, but some stores have different things. So this is pink in here primarily. But I'm in, am seeing red and yellow as well. It looks like the box might have green and purple and stuff in it too. But maybe it, those have been sold out right now. Um, also, we didn't see this yesterday. It's a craft spatula. Which is uh, probably really good for a lot of things. Here are some more gemstones. These are fastener dots. Oh, I like these. The finger protectors. Didn't see those at the other store. But that's a nice idea, right? If you're sewing... That might be great. Here's some felt numbers. They have some nautical icons, DIY pins back there, mermaids and whales, and then tons of sequins of different colors. There's some pink and purple back there, there's silver and copper colored here. I didn't see this either. They have glass beads. Here's different colored glue sticks, and here's some more. Uh, different kinds of glue sticks. This is some adhesive dots. Here's the plastic knitting needles. And then glitter paint. More of the um, canvases of different sizes. Um, here's a set of glitter glue in three colors 
for a dollar twenty-five. And every here are more of the chalk writers. This one's purple, and this one is a silver. Um, oh, this one even has a do-it-yourself paint ceramic painting set. This is uh, eight and up, and it's six pieces. It comes with it comes with the uh, paintbrush and the colors. Here's more bottles. There's pump spray bottles. There's squeeze applicators. Here's a ton more of the different brush sets that you can get. This is a six piece set. Here's a 12 piece set. Here's a three piece set of different brush head sizes and different colored handles. This is a two piece set. That's a six piece metal brush set. Here's a two piece water brush pen set. Did not see that. We have more of the unfinished decor that you can put together or paint and do have do whatever you want to with it we saw some of this at the other store wood cutouts there's some doggies back there some more monkeys we have uh, oh here's galvanized numbers metal tags that's a beautiful welcome sign with a boot right there and a tree and then in here we have wood planks of all different sizes or is this all the same this is a six piece set that says this wood plank. That looks like a log wet tangle. This is a square four by five. That one is, this one is a um, seven by two, almost three. But you have that. Here's some medical, med medical, metal plaques. I'm going fast. Um, we have more of the Dreamcatcher sets. That's what that is. Those are pretty, you saw some of that lots more of the galvanized pieces to do different things with more blank um, wood signs for us more metal tags here's some wood cutouts that looks like stars and hearts and things um, here are some wood dice um, and then we have the little bird houses and oh there's some pretty crosses down there unfinished so you can finish them the wood easels here's more tie-dye they didn't have a lot of tie-dye at the other store we didn't see this at all either this is um craft paper it's 30 inches by 10 feet so they have the craft paper at this one they also have more stickers lots of stickers of all kinds oh look at that that's an iron on arc that says queen on it and then there's just the regular wood we saw those wood pieces and the signs down there the other store there's the craft wheels and then over here we have more of the um the deco tape we saw different ones and then we have all this yarn of different color shapes size and there's the vinyl down here this is foil iron on sheet oh looks like hearts on that one there's um blue different colors of the iron on sheets and on this side more guess what stickers more stickers more foil more vinyl um and then a ton just a ton of vases they filled this up since the last time i was here oh and here's a new vase haven't seen these i think these are a repeat i've seen these online so but they're back and they're pretty probably a fall thing and then there's the colored ones and i was looking at all the new stuff that they are putting out to bolster up putting and creating your own um different arrangements from the twine and the foam and i was looking along and what did i find when i look over here there's my blue vase i've been looking for it's so beautiful you're coming with me i'm so happy now my collection is complete so they have these new decors watch me whip they see me rolling, they hate me. Baker's gonna bake. Watch me whip. It's really funny. And they have a little kickstand so you can actually just stand them up like that wherever you'd like. Sometimes all you have to do is turn a corner to find something interesting. And I did. This is a laminated to-do list that you can wipe it off, check it off, and do it all over again this is great because you could do this with your kids while you're trying to teach them to do chores and there's a planner as well so you could put in your own dates or whatever you'd like you can choose see if there's any more in here nope they're look like they're all the same but those are 
a good find if you're wanting to get organized. They're thin, so you'd have to tack them up somehow, but they have poster tack here that you can get that you can put them on the wall and it won't bother anything. Or you could just magnetize them to what your refrigerator, or you could hang them on a cork board. That would work too. Here are all the forms. They still have what looks kind of like an Easter bunny, the circles, the wheels, the stars. Christmas is coming. And here is more of the glitter tool and a blue and a lavender, a pinkish, a gold, and a silver back there. Up here we have some embossed ribbons. We have the floral foams. This is the gem mesh, I believe that is. Yep, metal ribbon, burlaps, and ribbons, floral moss. We have wood curl rows, we have burlap trim, mesh tubes, and rope. Jute rope, paint grinning pins, and wires. So hang on. Also they have straw bales and more moss, more tool. They have the um, craft floral foams in the flat discs. So every Dollar Tree is a little different and I had to stop and look at the crafting section even though I've been telling you that you can find crafting stuff no matter where you look because you know these foam cups, these plastic cups, the paper plates and stuff are good for projects as well. So hang on. Well, look at this folks. I can't believe I found this on a hidden cap. Look at all of these goodies that they have at this store. So these are all wood pieces well not this this is some more of the metal signs that looks like a cloud that is nautical here's some mermaids here's a ship wheel here's some little houses with the with the whiteboard in it here and these are tea lights and that looks like a ship an anchor whoa don't fall look at that it's a little box with rainbow in it that's orbs um, we have some permanent writable white stickers that looks like a Pine, uh, pineapple and down here we have some projects or little pallets and these are the little wood crates that you can use for different things and here's some plaques and these are more of the stickers all right but that was an interesting find on the end uh, kind of out of place so some of the other products that you could use is in the um, tool section with the car products and tools to find more of the wall tile which you know it's self-adhesive so you could use that for many different projects and it's up high and down low they have different colored duct tapes I've seen some iridescent duct tape but this is really pretty blue here's some super glue you could use that also we have twine you tie it over here in this section we have some uh, fasteners this is the hook and loop fasteners and we have these hook and loop fasteners that are in little squares we have the electrical tape that might come in handy paint brushes rope gloves um, the other thing is if you don't want to use a drop cloth um, or a table um, cloth for a drop cloth they do sell tarps I'm looking for them I don't see them here at this Dollar Tree right now but I know I've seen them at other Dollar Trees um, they do have them around the other thing they have is sandpaper over here in this section um, and they have some other kinds of tapes they have this is an um, oval applicator it's like a sponge so the sponges over here could be used for something you have zip ties utility knives measuring tapes you know just like in the um, the uh, office supply section you could find um, the rulers and uh, different things here we have sanding sponge DIY here's some cloths you could use to clean things up and you could use some of these like this little headlight right here if you need extra light to see not to mention up front that they have all these um, different glasses that you could use to see up close if you needed to cleaning supplies of course to help clean up behind your DIYs and whatever you're trying to do cloths sponges all that of course but the Tupperware and the container section is going to be helpful too right so you need to store something they have tons of storage 
Also, if you don't want to use your towels, you can buy towels here, your hand towels, wash towels, whatever you need to use potentially so that you don't waste the ones that you're in love with or are special to you. Because sometimes when we do a DIY, we're going to make a mess, right? And we're not going to recover the item from that. So using the $1.25 items here are very helpful. Just like, hang on, the aluminum foil and the tin foil pans. These are great. Some of these have lids or you could make a lid using a nut, a two of them together. Like this one has a lid on it. You can use that for mixing paints, putting objects in, trying to keep a mess from happening, all kinds of stuff. Not to mention the glad bags and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can, and, and garbage bags. You can, how about you use these t-shirts to tear apart or those bandanas or these socks to do your stuff with because they're $1.25. So something to think about. And who says you have to use an item for what it's intended? These are fashion gems, but I could see these being used to create something beautiful with. Could take the bags apart, you know, can use a lot of these items for different things. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't help but stopping and looking. Oh wow, that's new, I haven't seen that before. That is a mini travel battery operated ta toothbrush. Very interesting. All right guys, well, I think I'm gonna close out because they're getting ready to close and they want me to go home. And I really think I should go home. It's been a very long day. But thank you for coming with me again, and I hope you found something useful. Please take care. Subscribe, like, and share. Ask questions. Make me comment. And I uh, hope to see you again on our next adventure. We'll keep looking at these sections and finding things that work for all kinds of things. Thank you, and have a very blessed day.